Hey everybody, my name is Imogene Biz, and I'm going to be demonstrating how you do your science experiment today. So, we are going to be doing space and flight floating a ping pong ball. You guys are going to love this. So, basically, I'm from BAE Systems and we're going to be teaching you a little bit about what we do here since it's related to flight. We work on engine controls for military and commercial aircraft. So flight is our thing. That's what we do here. So we wanted to make it fun for you guys. And we're going to do this experiment with a ping, two ping pong balls, a dowel rod. It doesn't have to be um, an actual rolling pin like what you use, what your mom uses to roll out the dough at home. You can use the end of a wooden spoon. It's perfectly fine. And you're going to use a empty toilet, toilet paper roll. And you're also going to use a full toilet paper roll. We're going to put that away for later. And last but not least, we're definitely going to need a hair dryer. So make sure you use mom's hair dryer, but try not to break it, okay? <laughs> Now, the basis of this experiment is to see how things fly, how they float in the air with streams of air, okay? So, I'm going to give you a little background of this experiment. Um, the objective of this experiment is balancing air pressure and gravity, okay? We can make a ping pong ball float in midair just using a hair dryer along the way we'll also learn about Bernoulli's principle in lift the force that keeps aircraft up as they fly across the world so when the next time you guys get in the airplane with your mom and dad and your brothers and sisters you're going to know a little bit about how that airplane is able to be up in the air and stay in the air isn't that cool so, I guys, I want you guys to be awesome, have fun with this experiment, and I'm going to have fun too because I learned a lot doing this experiment myself, even though I work on this type of stuff at work. <laughs> so, the instructions. The procedure, you're going to work in small groups. The students will learn about Bernoulli's principle. Provide each group with a hair dryer, two ping pong balls, a roll of toilet paper, and a dowel rod. While pointing the hair dryer up towards the ceiling, switch it to cool and turn it on. Gently place the ping pong ball within the flow of air from the blow dryer and balance it into the airstream. Carefully move the hair dryer from left to right and watch how the ball moves as well staying in the stream of air, okay? Try adding a second ping pong ball to the airstream and watch as it flows as well. Try at, oh no, turn off the hair dryer and grab the dowel rod and the toilet paper. Unroll the toilet paper so that the end is detached from the rest of the roll and place it onto the dowel roll. While one student holds the rod, Another student will switch the hair dryer to high and point it towards the roll of toilet paper. Watch as the paper unravels and takes off. Now the second part, I don't have my partner here to help me with it, but you guys can do it if you have time to do it. It's going to be really, really fun and I know you're going to love it. So while one student, oh no, if time permitting, you're going to add a little more fun. You're going to have a student in each group volunteer to be mummified by the flying toilet paper. The instructor can then judge which group produced the best looking mummy. You guys are going to love this. Oh, I lost my ping pong ball. <laughs> okay, now the second part of the experiment I'm going to go ahead and do because I have an empty toilet paper roll. So, while pointing the hair dryer up towards the ceiling, you're going to switch it to cool and turn it on again. And you're going to gently place a ping pong ball into the airstream. Carefully place the now empty toilet paper tube above the ball into the airstream. Watch it float above the ball. 
finally watch the ball get sucked up inside the, the toilet paper tube. So that's going to be interesting, you guys. So we're going to start with the first part. I have my hair dryer. I'm going to turn the hair dryer on and I'm going to turn it to cool. Also, some of you guys might, your, your moms might have a hair dryer that has a cold option. It's going to be a little blue button under the two part of the hair dryer. That's going to be your cold, okay? So make sure you look for that while you're doing this experiment. I'm going to make sure it's cold. That's cold. Oh, I think I just turned it off. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put the ping pong ball in the airstream and watch it float. Wow. Now we're going to turn it from left to right and see what happens to the ping pong ball. Watch. Isn't that cool? Next, we're going to add a second ping pong ball. I wonder what's going to happen. Woo! Oh, I lost it. <laughs> Put it back and see what happens. That was amazing. Did you see that, you guys? They were floating at the same time. That is so cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try this with the toilet paper roll. So, hopefully. This works because I don't think it worked the first time I did it. <laughs> so we're going to take the toilet paper roll. I already took the first piece and uh, detached it from the toilet paper roll. So you know whenever you get a brand new fresh roll of toilet paper, you have to take that piece and unstick it from the rest of the toilet paper. So that's what I did, but then I just tore it off a little bit. So I got to take that off. So then I'm going to stick my dowel roll into the hole of my toilet paper and then I'm going to turn my hair dryer on again and we're going to turn it on to cool okay then let's see if it unravels the toilet paper Not really doing anything. I might be doing it wrong, but it's supposed to unravel the toilet paper. There it goes. There it goes. I think I was doing it wrong. It was moving. <laughs> so. It was moving again. I don't know if you saw that, but it definitely moved some more. So, hopefully that goes a lot better for you than it did for me. <laughs> now, again, because I don't have my... And that's how much that it unraveled. This is some pretty hefty toilet paper that I have because I like the really thick stuff. So, it just may depend on how thick the toilet paper is and how heavy the roll is. I like to get the really, really thick rolls of toilet paper. So that they last longer but that's neither here nor there now what we're going to do is we're going to do the last part of the experiment so we're going to take our two ping pong balls and our empty toilet paper roll since i had an empty one today and our hair dryer so it says while pointing the hair dryer up towards the ceiling again we're going to turn it on and turn it to cool then we're going to place a ping pong ball into the stream of air then we're going to carefully place the empty toilet paper roll 
above the ball, okay? Then we're gonna watch it float above the ball into the airstream and then the ball is gonna be sucked into the empty toilet paper roll. Let's see. That wasn't good. <laughs> All right, we have our ping pong ball. It's floating. Now we have our toilet paper roll. We're gonna put it above the ball and watch it float. And then it should suck the ball into the toilet paper roll. So let's see. That didn't work. <laughs> Whoa, let's try it again. Well, that's not working very well. I don't know. Yeah, it's not working very well for me, you guys. It's just blowing it out. So, but it did suck the ball into the rope, as you all saw. Let's try it again. Hey, that's the beauty of science experiments. It doesn't always turn out the way that we thought it would, but it's still fun doing it. So I guys, I hope you guys have fun doing it also. I had fun. Be awesome. Have fun with your classmates. And we hope to see you again soon to do another fun experiment. Thanks, you guys.